When we multiply a number by itself, it's called squaring a number. The reverse process is called finding the square root. The square root of a real number, x, is a non-negative number that, when squared, gives back x. This means, for example, the square root of 9 is 3, because 3 squared equals 9. The square root of 25 is 5, because 5 squared equals 25. There are two key points to note. First, although minus 3 squared also equals 9, the square root of 9 is only 3, not minus 3. That's because by definition, square roots are non-negative. So, whenever you see this tick-like sign, you should associate it with a non-negative number. Second, you can't find the square root of any negative number. Just try to find the square root of minus 1. It's impossible, because all squared numbers are non-negative. Therefore, the square root of a negative number doesn't exist. Let's get more familiar with finding square roots. First, the square root of 0 is 0. Because 0 squared is 0. Next, the square root of 400 is 20. Because 20 squared gives 400. And lastly, what's the square root of 144? You're thinking, what non-negative number, when squared, equals 144? It's 12. Therefore, the square root of 144 is 12. Here's a secret tool. Remember the perfect squares up to 15. They will make your square root calculations much easier.